Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to make this video because it means that I'm done my Christmas shopping for my toddler. I actually pretty much finished a little while ago uh, and I've been meaning to sit down and make this video, but if you didn't know, I recently found out that I'm pregnant and so the first trimester has just kind of been taking, you know, it's been doing its thing. So finally sitting down, finally filming this. There is construction going on right outside. So if you hear banging, I'm really sorry. I postponed filming yesterday because there was a bunch of noise and I just can't keep putting it off. So if there's a lot of banging, so sorry. I have no idea if it's gonna be picked up by the camera or not uh, until I start editing. Um, so yeah, that's what that is if you're wondering. So I have everything around me that I have gotten for Nova. She is my daughter, my toddler. She's going to be 21 months right at Christmas time. So these are all things that I've gotten for her based on her age, where she is at developmentally, what her interests are, what I think that she will really like and will help us kind of get through this whole lockdown scenario and winter here in Canada. So that's kind of where my mindset has been is like what items will she not only love but will also help me. <laughs> so that's what I've really kept in mind and I wanted to share with you guys because some of these things you definitely still have time for if, if they spark um, an idea for you and just because I think it's so fun. I am looking around at all the things and I'm not sure if I went overboard or not. Uh, I did thrift quite a few things, got them secondhand so I feel really good about that but I also feel like part of me is compensating for the fact that her first birthday was completely cancelled because of lockdown and now she's getting close to her second birthday I have no idea if that's going to be cancelled I'm just kind of compensating maybe a little bit and also I'm a first time mom it's just so much fun I don't know I could give you a million excuses I think I did reasonably okay. I don't think it went so crazy. And like I said, I thrifted, got things secondhand. Um, so I feel okay, but I'm just justifying myself. Don't feel like you ever have to go buy things just because I'm suggesting it or that you feel like you have to go buy, buy brand new. I definitely always encourage uh, thrifting secondhand gifts especially for kiddos like they just don't know the difference if it saves you money it means recycling things so that um, you know less things are ending up uh, in the landfill like it really just is an overall win okay with all of that introduction I'm just gonna get started and just show you uh, the things that I've gotten for Nova so the first thing I'll show you is this Set. This is actually specifically from her dad because he is a big golfer. He loves to golf and so uh, For months now he's been excited to get her her first like little play golf set. So that's what this is They're just like plastic um, Golf balls and golf clubs and basically he's just excited to uh, Play this in the basement with her or, or wherever and I just think it's kind of cute because it's something like Specific that he really wanted to get her so just a little golf set like I said from Amazon. I will link um, a List a Christmas wish list down below for you to go check out uh, and some of these things can you can find on there If you want to check it out this next thing I actually got Secondhand and for free so I was looking for a baby doll stroller uh, Everywhere I was looking at buying brand new I was trying to find one on Facebook marketplace and I tried to literally make the transaction for two different Facebook marketplace ones and both of them sold like right, right under my feed um, so then someone in the community that I am in uh, was looking to you know find another home for theirs so snatch that up so this will be fun for her I already showed you this in the last video but this is another secondhand find these uh, like Disney princess dolls we have Elsa and we have Rapunzel from Tangled and I think she'll just love these. They're super cute. She's not like really that into the movies necessarily, but I imagine it won't be long before she is. And uh, I just think they're great like dolls and things to play with for her as well. This is just from Ikea actually. It's like an art smock. I think it's going to be too big for her. Um, and we have a different one that we use, but I wanted to pick it up to just have on hand for when we need another one. I'll just show you the rest of the items that I thrifted that you might have already seen if you saw the other video. This Melissa and Doug latches board. These are awesome for kiddos. Um, 
I am so glad that I did not have to pay full price for that because I've always found that what specific thing to be too expensive. So uh, then I found Mrs. Potato Head, which I think she'll find just hilarious and I think she'll love it. And then the other thrifted one was this barn animal set. Uh, this thing just opens and she can play um, with that and just kind of like fosters that pretend play, imaginative play. So I'm excited for those things. Those I found at Once Upon a Child. It's like a thrift store geared towards children. Um, I know that they're all over the place, so it, you might have one local to you. And that's where I find like all of Nova's clothes, almost all of them, and tons of toys. It's just a really <laughs> great place. Now, I don't know if we can blame it on pregnancy brain, but I'm going to. <laughs> I already started wrapping things the other night, and then I realized that I was gonna film this video, so I kind of like face palmed. It was like, oh great. Um, so I'll tell you what's in them. I'm not gonna unwrap them. There's just a book in here. It's kind of like winter themed, more so than Christmas. And then also uh, a Peppa Pig sticker coloring activity book. Uh, she loves Peppa Pig, so I'm excited for her to see that. In here is a Duplo, like first Duplo set. So it's like, kind of like the beginning stages of Lego, um, a little bit further than like the Mega Blocks, but it's got actual like little people figurines. And I'll just put a picture right here so you can see. This is something that her dad really wants to start with her too. So I got it more specifically for them to kind of play with and I'm really excited. It's actually kind of birthday themed, um, but I don't care. She's, she's just gonna, it's whatever. <laughs> And then in here is the Melissa and Doug stamp set. It's like the wooden stamps. We love to make pictures and crafts and things. So I wanted to definitely foster that with a gift, um, just like little ink pads and she can just stamp away. This over here, um, I just picked up. It wasn't necessarily planning on it, but then I saw it and it was a good deal and I just got it because <laughs> I've been looking at these. There are so many different like brands of these. So I'll link one in the Amazon um, that is similar, but these are, they're like magnet tiles, so they like magnet together and you can like build things. We had these in um, my preschool that I taught at and there was just, uh, yeah, so many great activities that we could do with the kids with that. So I really wanted to add that to our collection of like those, those toys that kind of stay with us for years and years and years and we'll kind of build on this collection. So that's what that is. In this box is one of those sinks. I'm sure you've seen those around. This is actually a part of the Love Every kit. Uh, we've been so grateful to be able to kind of partner with them over this past year. They recently just sent us two new boxes and this was in one of them. And I picked it so that I could specifically have this sink because I think she'll just think it's so much fun. Uh, and I wanted to take it out of the box and like have it for Christmas because uh, I just think she'll love it. And I haven't decided about the rest of the things in the box, if those are gonna be Christmas or just kind of come out casually after Christmas as we like feel like we need to rotate new toys out and that kind of thing. Haven't decided yet, but I know for sure I wanted to bring this one up. The Love Every kits are really amazing. I'm so impressed with them. Um, this video isn't even you know, anything to do with a partnership with them. I just genuinely really like them. Um, and so I'll leave a link down below. That's my like affiliate link if you want to go and order something for yourself. And I'll definitely show you guys her playing with this when she opens it because I think she's gonna have so much fun. This is still in the box too. It's from this company. It's a Canadian company called Coco Village. And this is like one of their play tents, kind of teepee style. It's so cute. I want to decorate and finish up the bonus room, the playroom upstairs. And I think this will be like a fun piece to kind of get us started. I will set it up and have it like at the tree for her to see on Christmas morning when she comes down. Uh, and then the other thing from Coco Village that we got is a wooden bike. So it's like a convertible bike. We will start off having the three wheels and then we can eventually change it to be a two wheel bike. Uh, kind of like a balance bike. So I love that it's convertible. We can like extend its use for her over time and she's gonna be able to like learn the balancing part of it soon. And yeah, I think she's just gonna have so much fun. So that's also gonna be set up and put under the tree for her to come see when she comes down on Christmas morning. I am so excited. We still have to put it together. It's still all in pieces. Pro tip, definitely remember to put together things like long before Christmas actually starts because you don't want to be spending your whole Christmas Eve like building stuff forever. So we're gonna get on that 
really soon uh, to give ourselves lots of time. And yeah, I'm just very excited about that one. Uh, again, that's from Coco Village. I'll link those ones down below too. The other sort of big-ish item, this is actually secondhand found on Facebook Marketplace as well, is this big old box of Thomas the Train tracks and of Thomas the Train trains. And this is one of those, you know, like heirloom pieces that we're just gonna have as part of our collection for years and years to come. And we knew that we wanted to one, get this second hand because it can be quite expensive, these pieces, if you buy brand new. And also these really hold up. So uh, I felt like we were still getting really good quality. And then it also just saved us a lot of money. So we have this bit of a collection built up and we can add to it. But really I think like we have a really good base uh, because it's a huge box. I have no idea how much you'll want to play with it right now, but uh, it's something that we will just keep introducing until you know that sparks our interest and then we'll have it for the next kiddo and that sort of thing too. So really excited about that find. And that's really all there was for like gifts um, that will go like under the tree. But I'll quickly show you the things that I have for her stocking. It's kind of like a mishmash because I don't know, I've never been too into stockings. Like I just kind of find things that are small enough to fit in there and just call it a day. Uh, but I think some of these things are like fun and some of them are useful. So uh, I think she'll like it. At Ikea, I found these, they're just like ink stamp pens. So uh, that will be fun for her uh, again with like art and, and doing crafts and stuff. Here I got another pack of this brand of flashcards. We have the ones that are like first words, so it's got like lots of animals and other other things. So this is specifically colors and shapes. And she loves the flashcards. Uh, this is like $2. I, I think it's the perfect stocking stuffer actually. Um, and they're Amazon, so you could probably, if you have Prime, you would be here in time for sure. Got just another Play-Doh just to add to her little collection. This is another cup and it's Peppa Pig. Like I said before, she loves Peppa Pig, so she is going to be very happy about this. <laughs> Along with the Peppa Pig theme, I got her a set of toothbrushes that are Peppa Pig. Uh, we've been working really hard on getting her in a better place with teeth brushing. It's been like such a battle for like the whole time that we've been brushing her teeth, but I feel like finally we're in a better groove and she's accepting it more and it's going better. So I wanted to get her some Peppa Pig ones because I think that might encourage her uh, to enjoy it a little more because she just loves Peppa Pig. So that's the idea behind that. And then again, more Peppa. These are just bubble baths and just the fact that Peppa's even on it will be exciting for her. And then of course she loves bubble baths. And then lastly is just uh, these like Reese's pieces. I got three of them, one for each of our stockings. So I thought I would just include her and give her one too. I'll probably find a couple more just like little treats to stick in her stocking as well. So that's really everything uh, that I have purchased or thrifted or gotten for my toddler for Christmas. I am so excited for Christmas. Last year was our first Christmas with her and she was nine months old and it was so much fun and I loved every second of it. But this year, I know that she's just gonna be a bit more aware, a bit more like excitable and it'll be really fun to see her reactions opening things. And I'm just really looking forward to like spending the entire day basically playing with her and uh, just sitting down, getting on the floor and playing with these things with her. So I'm really looking forward to it. So again, like I said, I will have some links down below if you wanted to see anything specifically. I hope you enjoyed seeing the little collection of things that I had gotten for Nova. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.